It's hockey night in Southern Saskatchewan. It's the Warriors, it's the Bats, and it is live. Go pucks drop, it's your Saturday night. Bats with some numbers up the ice. There's Berg, the shot, scores! Parker Berg rushing up on the left wing side will snap that past Jackson Unger. And the Pats score a shorty to take the lead. I thought it was post crossbar, but referee right there. Speed coming up the ice, Bernard right circle drive. Puts it off the pad, loose, they score! Riley Janelle will get his second of the weekend, and the Pats will take a 2-0 lead. Uh, neutral zone turnover, Connor Bernard gets the puck, has his head up, makes a real smart play. He pulls Jackson Unger as far to the left as he can. Braxton Whitehead enters on the right wing, scores! Braxton Whitehead just throwing it on net as it beats Jackson Unger on the glove side, and it's a 3-0 Regina lead. Now that's that's what I'm sure Jackson would like to have back, but nice shot by Whitehead. Top of the circles, getting it to the front of the net. Left wing, Dow Hediak brings it in. He's got back, go cuts in front, they tap it, and score! Martin Ricehab, he's got the Warriors on the board. Oh, that's a beautiful play through the neutral zone. Dow Hediak and Gallant play catch. And Dow Hediak able to get it across to Backel, who makes a nice little move to the middle of the ice, and then finds Ricehab at the side of the net. Schofer, forced to the wall, then centered. A oh, warrior there, then they score! How did that go in? I believe it was the Pats defenseman tried to throw it behind the net, but it went off of Schofer, I think, and straight in. How about the hard work of Tate Schofer, oh, hey? What a great shift by the, those three. I make that those five. I think the Regina Pat played it into his own net, Derek. Oh, inside circle. It's the side of the pat net. Calvert, up left corner to Allred. There's a shot. Braden Yeager leads the rush through the middle. Yeager on the left wing side. Rye Savvy drives. Stopped by Drew Sim. Back to Suzdalev on the right boards. Cross ice. Bedard tipped in front. They score. Power play goal for the Pats will put him back up by two as it ricochets off a of body in front. Now you can't give that talented power play any more opportunities when they have. Musha had a chance to get it out. Agger trying to get some speed on the left wing side. Matejchuk through the middle, backhand stopped. Natalie Calvert comes out, back to five on five. Warriors down, 4-2, now 5-2 as Bedard scores. Just as the Warriors get back to even strength, Connor Bedard will find a lane to go over Jackson Unger. Oh, it's got to get on net, that one. Ten seconds to go. Furcus holds shot. Scores! Seven seconds left in the period, and Jagger Furcus sniping his 37th of the season to pull the Warriors within two. Oh, that's a big one, James. Huge goal. Comes in left circle, looks for a trailing, all shot, save made. Warriors trying to push it in, but Calvert just unable to muscle it across. Come back in, Allry for Calvert, high shot. Pat sticks, Suzdalev drives in, back pass for Bedard, and then Suzdalev was thinking the Michigan. Head on the near right wing, goes wide down the wall, throws it in front, they score, Zach Stringer with a nice deflection. And the Pats will take a 6-3 lead. One of those nights, James, get opportunities at one end, just can't buy it. And then a nice little deflection play. Stringer goes hard to the net, stick on the ice. Right. Pats play it to the net, and they score. But Dart come up with that, too. I'm not too sure. And then after and then the whistle. gives a late hit. The right circle looks back door. Furcus fat on it and just rolls. Entry for Jaeger. Top of the circle. Jaeger shot. No goal. Third one off the post. Lots of opportunity, but unable to finish it here tonight. And they'll fall 7-3 to the Regina Pats. Pats clinch a berth in the Western Hockey League playoffs with the victory tonight.